FIFA games reflected on Canada's best scorer just before departing. News 5's Isani Caetano has that story. The Belize Jaguars are off to Toronto, Canada, where they are scheduled to play the Canucks in the third round of competition in current FIFA World Cup qualifiers. The national team has been very meticulous in preparing for this stage of play, the farthest Belize has ever progressed at this level of international football. Hoping to put the big cats on the scoreboard is Dion McCauley. The main thing is to keep focus, um, keep the discipline and keep the team together. Um, the, the training itself was good and I think that the, the players will benefit from it. Um, we will be physically um, prepared. Um, we just need to keep the mental aspect of the game you know, at hand and, and, and try, to, um, try to bring that part of the game on Friday. Assistant head coach Charlie Slusher has been instrumental in ensuring that come game day on September 4th, the team will maintain its composure and manage the exceptionally high stress factor going into the first match. Pressure has been much more different than the other games, you know. And you know, when, when you know that the entire Belizean public is behind the team and, and believing in them, believe that they can go out there and upset Canada, you know, it, it, it's, it's a really big burden for the guys to back on, on their shoulders. But I think that the guys are ready for it, you know, mentally, we just need to be focused and, and not to let the pressure get to us. And I think the guys are experienced enough to, to handle that situation. Returning from Honduras to join the Jaguars in Toronto is Woodrow West. His record for defending Belize's goalpost has been stellar this go-round. I reached yesterday and I've been training with the team last night. And I, I, what, I, what I see yesterday, the, the, the guys are very um, positive. And, and the training was very intensive yesterday, so um, I believe that the guys them have this mentality of going out there and, and, and perform as the best they could, you know. So um, I believe we're ready. We all know what we want, you know. And um, it, it has been a long way for us, and um, this is one of one of the breaks we have now to, to jump to the other level where we want to be for years ago and um, to be among the big teams them and um, to stay there, you know. So it's a big challenge, us, and I, I agree with that. But then. I believe that the players and, and myself, we could do it and, and, and get along in another fourth round. You know? To make it to the fourth round, the team must survive Canadian striker Kyle Larin. He has scored a total of three goals going into the home and away series. Everything is different about this game. Every game is, is different. And we are playing in a different country, different climate, you know, different people. We'll be playing against a lot more fans, so the pressure will be a, li a, a little bit on. So, I mean, everything is different about this one. And I, like I said, if we keep mentally focused, I think that we can accomplish our goal. Now, some of these players are going to be on the big stage, so to speak, for the first time, where you have thousands of fans supporting their home team in Toronto. What are you guys doing to sort of allay those fears or excitement so, so as to keep them as calm as possible to actually, you know, do well on the floor? Well, I'm hoping this is where the, the experience comes in, you know. A lot of the guys have already experienced situations like this and this is when these players now need to lead the other guys into, into the game, basically. A lot of, a lot of things will, will happen on the field where the coaches might not be able to communicate. But we have already communicated before the game as well as these guys need to be communicating on the field with each other and, and to guide each other. Reporting for News 5, I am Isana Kayetano. Of note is that the Canadian...